You know, as a Christian, where do you find yourself struggling with being close-minded? You know, Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 4, 16, 18 in the message, so we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside it often looks like things are falling apart on us, on the inside where God is making new life, not a day goes by without His unfolding grace. These hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times, the lavish celebration prepared for us. There's far more here than meets the eye. The things we see now are here today, gone tomorrow, but the things we can't see now will last forever. Wow. Have you ever thought about giving up? Normal life can be overwhelming at times, and it can be overwhelming all the time. In running to the church in Corinth 2,000 years ago, wow, Paul talked about how it looked like the things there were really falling apart in the, their world. On the outside, things were bleak. They were so bleak. Sound familiar? People were on the verge of giving up. Maybe some already had. I don't know exactly what those people's experiences were, but it wasn't good, and it was taking its toll. Yeah, Paul? is adamant that they not give up, and he has his reasons why. You know, as Christians, the outside world can literally crash down around us. On the inside, God's making new life. Think about it. Nothing surprises God. Nothing ever surprises God. As Christians, this earth we live on is not really our home. Our home is with God in heaven forever. I was reading a book this week that really brought that truth home to me in a really new way. That truth changes everything. We were never promised an easy life or a perfect world to live in. I remember that surprising me when I was young. When I was young in my faith, it seemed to me that if I followed God, my life would be a kind of heaven on earth. No problems, no major issues, just peace. And it sounded so good until life began to happen. There were wars. People I loved died, and the economy went on a roller coaster ride, and people were abused, and there was injustice. No heaven on earth. Paul says that what we endure here is nothing compared to the new life God has waiting for us when we get home. I believe that. I like that. Eventually, we will leave the todays and tomorrows behind for life that will last forever. Yet even as we struggle here, there are glimpses of heaven today and everyday matters. God is working on our inside, making us more like Him. It may not change our circumstances, but it will change how we deal with them. He is as close as a whisper or thought. He knows and He cares. He knew that we in this life would struggle, so He has given us access to His ears 24 7 365. So talk to him today.